Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, verbal ability and reading comprehension, uh, specifically in a 45 day framework. What are the things, what are the processes that work? Two things I've already talked about in my previous videos on this particular issue. Uh, you can go back and look at those uh, videos, the CAD preparation uh, for strategies for 45 days. And two, two basic logics I've already told you uh, that uh, when you talk about uh, score improvement in a 40 to 45 day framework you have to find processes and things that will work in 45 days you can't implement processes or things that will work in three months you can't even work or use processes and systems that will work in 50 days or 75 days they'll not work you don't have the time right if you want to prepare for cat 23 next year you can implement 300 day process also but if you're going for cat 22 you have to look at 45 day processes, things that will give you results in 10 days, 15 days, 20 days, 30 days at the maximum, at the outset. So that's one basic premise that you need to understand uh, before you come to the content of the video. And the second premise you need to understand is that uh, when you talk about score improvement, there are only two philosophies for improving scores in your mock tests and in, the, in your CAT. Uh, one philosophy is, is you improve your attempts, you increase your attempts. And this other philosophy is increase your accuracy. So if you keep your accuracy constant and raise your attempts, your score will improve. If you can keep your attempts constant but raise your accuracy, your score will improve. And ideally, if you can do both, raise your attempts and raise your accuracy, your score will get improved by a power of two. You know, because there will be two factors raising or jumping, making your scores jump. So if we want to investigate what are the things that you can do when you talk about verbal ability, reading comprehension, what are the processes? They'll help you either increase attempts or increase accuracy in a 45 day framework. Uh, let, let me now try to start picking my mind and, and telling you from my experience uh, what uh, could work for you. So first of all, of course, uh, you need to first audit your percentage corrects that are happening in verbal ability. If you're anywhere in the 60%, 50%, 40%, 70% rate of uh, attempting uh, questions correct, it means that uh, you are kind of shooting in the dark in when you're solving verbal ability questions. Now, please understand, when you talk about accuracy in verbal ability, why do you get a question wrong in VA or RC? You can get a question wrong for three primary reasons. The first reason you can get a question wrong is you don't understand the paragraph on which the question is built, if it's a VA question, or you don't understand the passage on which it's built. You've got not got the idea of the passage mapped out correctly uh, from the reading of the passage if it's a reading comprehension question, right? So that's one reason you misinterpret, misread or you don't get the idea the author is trying to communicate in your head. The author is talking about a CAT CAD the animal and you're getting CAT CAD the exam. So there's a dissonance between the author's idea and your idea creation. So that's of course uh, a problem with your reading and uh, that's the first reason. Uh, that you are getting your questions wrong. The second reason you are getting your questions wrong is you are not understanding or not fixing what the question is asking. Right? So, so the question is asking you to find the reason for something happening. You are giving a cause for something for that for what is happening. Even though your cause is right, if it's not answering the question, right? Even though your cause is right, it's not answering the question. For example, let's say there's a story about X, Y, Z and Y murders Z right and uh, the question is asking why did y murder z and you are answering why murdered z your answer is that why murdered z so it's correct according to the passage but is it the answer to why did he do it the answer is no so even if getting a true answer a true true option it is not answering the question asked so if you don't get the, the fix of the question which is asked you will make mistakes so that's the second source of mistakes and a lot of times you'll be surprised uh, that this is very, very common in your solving. And, and this is from my experience of teaching thousands and lakhs of students over the last uh, 15, 20, 25 years of my life and seeing what goes wrong in verbal ability and reading comprehension solving. And the third reason, of course, is that you misread or you do not read the, the options correctly, right? So very, very often that happens because you're trying to do it too fast. Uh, a certain speed is what is required for, or can be uh, sustained for you by you at your level of understanding but you are trying to go faster than that. So if you are doing that you will have accidents of not reading one word which changes the answer and we are RC mein specifically you will see one word changing the answer 
happening a lot of times. Uh, if you look at the past year CAT questions, etc., and look at uh, mock test questions and good quality re reading comprehension questions, you will see two close options. And between those two close options, what you have to be able to see that this is not the right answer because this has this extra word or this is not the right answer because this has something which is wrong. Some one particular word makes it wrong in, in the context of this thing. So three reasons. So if you want to raise your accuracy, so as I said, my, my, my argument here is that either you raise your attempts or you raise your accuracy. So I am focusing first on how you raise your accuracy. So, uh, specifically if you are in the 50-60% accuracy range, you first need to understand how you can get to a 80-90% accuracy range. And we have one factor in VRC, 90% accuracy is to create karna hai. rare, uh, in fact almost not possible that somebody solves uh, 100 questions on VA and RCM gets all 100 correct. You will get a 90-95, the top guys get 90-95% correct, so that's what your aim should be to push your accuracy up to 80, 85, 90. So obviously, uh, you first have to find, uh, if your accuracy is low, you have to find which of these three are the reasons. Is it you are not getting the idea mapped correctly into the author's idea in your brain? That's one. Second is, are you misreading the question? Are you not fixing what the question is asking? Hence what the answer is. And third is, are you reading, are you giving enough time to the, to the options and reading the options correctly? and completely and creating the idea of each option separately and then matching it to the question. That's the process. If you are compromising on any part of the process, your uh, RC question specifically and even your verbal question will go wrong. So, so what you can do if you identify any of these three weaknesses, any of these three patterns working more in your case. Some of you might have this case that your idea mapping is not correct. So you don't get the idea from the passage. So you are nowhere in control of the passages. But then there are a lot of students who are able to understand the idea completely. But then when they come to the question, the options, they get stuck in the options. They are not able to do this. So my advice there is that you need to uh, slow down your reading a little bit at, at that point. If, if an option requires 12 seconds to read, don't try to read it in 7. Because then what happens is you misinterpret things. Now you will tell me that if I slow down my reading, my speed will go down, my attempts will go down, then what is the point of accuracy? My answer is no. If you slow down your reading, your speed actually goes up because you read only once. So, so, so that's actually one of the speed uh, aspects. So I can tell you from my own personal examples, my own personal uh, experiences, when I solve comprehension for example, I do a passage of cat level in around 6 to 7 minutes. 7 is our upper limit three and a half, four minutes to read it uh, because one minute per paragraph. So if it's a four para uh, passage, I'll take four minutes to read it and one minute per question, 45 minutes to one minute per question. So seven to eight minutes is the upper limit that I'll take to solve a reading comprehension question. You're straight away three to four minutes ahead of somebody who's reading twice. If the process of reading only once, you can get catch the idea correctly uh, in the first go. Uh, whether it's of the, of the passage or the question or the uh, options, you, if you eliminate your second reading, you are already, already three to four minutes ahead of somebody who is trying to read faster than you, but is, uh, is actually making mistakes in his reading and needs to keep going back to the passage or the option or the question again and again. So my uh, advice to you here is that if you slow down if we, your reading, get more intense during your reading process, whether it's of, of all the three things, que uh, passage, op question and options. So, Pay more attention at that time, tighten your, your comprehension, get rid of all the thoughts that are coming from outside, focus more on what's in, in front of you. And, and even within the passage, the last paragraph, the last sentence is the past, the next sentence is the future, you have to live in, inside that one sentence. So if you start doing it, you will start seeing a much stronger intake of the uh, passage and of the paragraph. And once you have that, and you apply the same principle to your question reading and the options reading, I'm quite sure you'll be able to raise your accuracy. And as you raise your accuracy, as I said, raising your accuracy automatically in VRC will automatically come with raising speed. Because uh, if you can learn to start solving these things with a single reading, if you can learn to uh, extract the author's idea, extract the question's idea and extract the option idea in one reading, you will automatically cut down by around 3-4 minutes on your ability to uh, solve an individual RC passage. So, so if you can, if you are doing 3 passages, let's say, or 2 passages, you will end up getting 6 minutes extra and those 6 minutes extra will 
count for at least four or five more attempts. So if you're attempting 12 to 14 questions, you'll go to 18 questions. And your accuracy goes up, your speed goes up, uh, your number of attempts goes up, and your uh, score automatically jumps by a, uh, by a squared number. So this is what you can focus on. And, and you can, I mean, whatever you do uh, from this point on, I mean, see, uh, one more thing you need to understand, one more thing I need to tell you, if I am being true to what I want to give you here, is that uh, in comprehension, in, in verbal, most of the learning, 90% of the learning is inside the questions, inside the passage. And, and you need to investigate this with every passage that you do. So you will have to teach yourself. Uh, and, and the practice you can do in a 20-day framework is first you will have to teach yourself how do you get every question correct. So, so suppose you are trying to solve, I mean, what I'm meaning to say here is suppose you are trying to solve uh, a, an RC passage in 10, 11 minutes and you get 60% accuracy. You try to see whether you have the capacity of solving a RC passage 100% correct by taking 18 to 20 minutes, right? So first, first focus on that. Because if after 18 minutes, 20 minutes, also your accuracy is still 60% or 70%, then in 10 minutes, your accuracy cannot be, cannot be more than 70%. So your accuracy in, in double the time, suppose this is the time you want to solve an RC passage in, you find your accuracy, what your current accuracy is in double the time. This cannot be more than 70. If your accuracy level here is 95, then this can go to 80, 85, right? So, so the practice, of course, uh, you should do be, uh, a lot of solving in this time. Uh, I, I cannot recommend to you to, to improve your reading skills and, and go in a six month uh, reading journey and diversity of reading at this point of time. That's, that's okay for CAT 23, 24 aspirants. For CAT 22 aspirants, your learning in the last 45 days has to be within questions, answers and options and the passages and, and paragraphs on which it is. So I would suggest that you, you do this practice of double time, single time. Try to, try to first uh, create a 90-95% accuracy by improving your focus on each of the three things. And try to uh, do an error analysis. Also, also do this. When you do an error analysis, you will also be able to understand uh, why your error is happening more, more frequently than others in, in particular areas or what are the patterns of errors you are falling into. Are you the first kind of problem? not understanding the idea, not understanding the question, misleading an option, or not understanding, not matching the option with the question, which of these is, is a pattern of, of, of errors for you. So what will happen is if you are getting 30-40% errors, 10-15% of, 10, of the errors might be coming from one pattern, 10-5% of the errors might be coming from a second pattern, 10% of errors might be coming from a third pattern. Once you identify the pattern of errors you are making, you can then just start plugging those holes. Right, so, so this is uh, what can work for you in comprehension and verbal ability. Uh, <clears throat> I would not suggest you to, to work too much on parajumbles because parajumbles are easy, then you should come to 100% of them. The tough parajumbles, if you look at CAD 18, 19 parajumbles, it's very difficult for anybody to get it, uh, this thing. And if you're getting a 70-80% accuracy, uh, 60 to 80% accuracy on parajumbles, 45 days work will not take it to 100% because you'll always go wrong with one sentence here or there because the moment it's five sentences you have 120 options uh, even the, when uh, that that get created from one two three four five to five five four three to one so so you really cannot uh, get beyond uh, 60 to 80 percent accuracy in those but yeah in the four sentence paragraphs uh, parajumbles you have got 24 uh, options you can definitely work on them so this is what uh, i would uh, suggest you to work on and uh, i hope uh, these tips will help you and uh, all the best, give it your best shot and uh, at the end of the day, you should be satisfied with the results and dissatisfaction, if any, should be with your efforts, never with the results. So thank you so much. I'll meet you again in my next video. Bye-bye.